What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to change a spring on a Harley Davidson. Uh, I had to replace the spring on mine because when I was making a left hand turn, my kickstand was dragging. So it's a pretty simple, easy thing to do. The spring only costs about $10 at Harley. Um, I shot this video about a year ago, so you could have noticed I have a big beard in it. But nonetheless, the process is still the same. Now the one thing I didn't show in my video because it was a really fast, simple, easy process, was removing the old spring. To remove the old spring is really simple. You just need a pair of needle nose pliers and you kick the bike off the kickstand and support it so the bike stays upright but leave the kickstand in the down position. And the spring, is, since it's worn out, it's gonna be really easy. And there's two little half hooks on it and you just pop them off just by twisting your wrist and the spring's off and getting the new one on is a little bit trickier, but I'll show you a trick in the video. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a Harley Davidson kickstand spring. As you can tell, mine is pretty worn out and it's time for a new one. What you'll need is pretty simple. Uh, four drywall screws, one ratchet strap, and about 10 cents worth of pennies. So this is how you get a Harley kickstand spring on. What I did was I took two drywall screws, sunk them into each other on each end, with a ratchet strap and slowly cranked on it wedged in about 10 pennies to open up the spring now I'm gonna go ahead and decompress it and see if I could get it on the bike if not I'll just add more pennies so stay tuned Well that shot off like a bottle rocket like I expected it to, that's why it's still clear. But now you can tell I got 10 pennies inside the spring. The spring is opened up a little bit. Let's see if we can get it on the bike. So as you can see, you got a loop right here, and then you have another one right there. And you gotta get these hooks in it. Now with the pennies in it, it's much easier. You just do that, slide that in there. It, try the other way. Put the bike one in first, kickstand one second. Alright, now that that's all set up, all you do is take the kickstand, swing it out, go ahead and get the pennies out. Man, it's raining money. So I get it in my two cents, one cents, zero cents, just like that. Pennies fall out, kickstands in, new spring is in, ready to ride another day. To show you how I propped up the motorcycle on its side, all I did was I took a jack stand, put it on the passenger footrest, like so, leaned the bike over, turned the handlebars into it so it locks it in, and it is pretty secure as you can tell the bike is not going anywhere now what I did with the drywall screws I do not recommend it just because the drywall screws are not very strong and that could have broken any time and shot the ratchet either into my hand or up into my face I don't recommend it but it did work uh, what I did was just took a screw and then put another screw head on top of it so it was two screw heads holding it down into a quarter inch sheet of plywood but I do not recommend it. On that note, have a great day.